Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And tonight, I'm going to be doing a very quick video on Ezreal's new series that she's bringing to YouTube. She says that people like Tasha K have put out a lot of lies and fake news, and she is here to correctly tell her story and tell her truth. Before I jump into that, I want to remind you to be shopping on my website, NeekAtNight.com, to get your quarantine and chill needs. All right, it's spelled just like my channel. With that being said, here is a clip of her saying bloggers like Tasha K don't be telling the truth or the full truth. Then I'm gonna go in to show you some of the text messages that she exposed. I am going to tell you guys everything that I have experienced, everything that I have seen, everything that I have endured during these last five years um me personally i just would like to clear up a lot of stuff there is a lot of lies out there there is a lot of people like tasha k tasha k tasha k and bloggers that are just they have a portion of the truth and now they're just plugging in anything to fill in the holes and the gaps you cannot poke holes and fill in your theory for my story when you have not witnessed it when you have not been there Okay, so as you can see, she's mainly directing that part to Tasha K. Um, me, personally, I've done a lot of coverage of the story. I talk about what is out and give my opinion on it. Tasha K, however, as you guys have witnessed, she puts out stuff and she puts out these, you know, crazy theories and crazy things that's going on. And Azrael is like, listen, you're getting a piece of the story and you're just making your own little whole shebang up and basically putting in what you feel like can patch in that sounds good that's kind of what i gather from what Azrael was saying and me as a viewer of tasha k even before falling out with her i mean she has done stories where she will get a piece of a story and then shape it how she feels you know sounds the best and sell it even if all of the story or all of the parts that she patches in are not true um she basically puts opinions in and pass them off as like true facts and we've seen that with the travis scott story and other stories if you're gonna sit here and claim that's not what she do you a bold faced motherfucking lie and i don't want to hear about it in the goddamn chat because come on now stop and that's another thing that I always thought was ironic when her wide hip daddy would always come out trying to clap back at the bloggers who don't sell the narrative that he wants to sell. He will always attack us because we're like, listen, nigga, I'm going to give you my opinion of what I see. I'm not going to run with what you just want to make people believe when it's lies. Um, he would always attack people like us with the. I'm going to get Tasha K on you. And that would always be his tagline. Like mm, they don't seem that bright. I understand. So let me, let me, let me talk. Let me, let me talk to you. You cannot bully my opinion. Okay. You cannot shame me into not speaking. Constantly writing me, telling me, uh, Oh, Tasha K is on your case. And, 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 and texting me and telling me, Tasha K this, Tasha K that. I am not afraid. And this is no shade to Tasha K because I have no problem with her platform. I am not afraid of you or any other human walking this earth. I'm not out here trying to maliciously, um, you know, slander y'all. That was just a quick flashback, but that was from last year. And the threats of him getting Tasha K, I'm going to get Tasha K, I'm going to get Tasha K. He will always do that. Anytime that I posted a video, he would always, like, go live or, you know, do that bullshit. Like, I'm going to get her. And, you know, I'm like, that would be his main, like, threat to me and to all the other people who did not run with the narrative that he wanted to put out. And I'm like... Nigga, that's the main one who be putting out outlandish stuff about your child. Like, I don't even put out crazy stuff. I just talk about it when it come out. And out of all the outlandish stuff, you want to attack a person like me who tells the truth. 
who has proven to tell the truth that you actually seen your daughter way before you lied and said you did. You want to attack me. But if a person puts out an outlandish theory, as long as they have a part of it and it's still rocking with the narrative that you want, then you cool with it. To me, I've always found that to be strange, but you know, it is what it is. As far as Azriel in this new series that she has, when she says Tasha K and bloggers, now mind you, there are tons and tons of people who have covered this whole R. Kelly situation. Again, I don't feel like she's talking about me because I don't just be making up fantasy stories and just making up stuff and again they be having some parts that are true and then they will shape a whole synopsis that isn't really true but if you have a piece of it people will think that everything is true um <laughs> Um, I, I don't think when when she says that, I don't think she's talking about me per se either because I talk about, like I said, what's out and I talk about true facts that have been verified. And if you look at my content, most of the stuff I talk about is stuff that comes out of their very own mouth. Like if she says out of her own mouth, I ate poo, or if the dad says out of his own mouth, then the stuff that they actually physically type, the stuff that they actually physically say, that's most of the stuff that I do commentary on if you really dissect my videos. Like if it's something that I'm speculating, I'm not quite sure of that. I'm like, I don't really know. I let y'all know that I'm not really sure about it. I, I'm not, you know, don't quote me on it. I'm not, you know, I, I, if it's not a fact, I don't pass it off as a fact, period. And as for me, you know, that'll go against my quote unquote credibility because other people will get a piece. And, you know, they'll pass off opinions as facts and people will say, well, oh, they know because they're passing off as a fact because I'm like, oh, well, I'm not really sure, you know, and I'm honest with not being sure. People will be like, well, she don't really know. But this person, even though they're, they don't really know, they're just passing off their opinion. They'll be like, oh, they got the real truth. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. That's just how YouTube works. So I don't think she probably likes everything that I've said. Um, I don't just be making up shit just to make up shit, period. So anyways, moving on off of that, um, she also goes into basically expose that, you know, she's going to go in depth in this new series that she's having. She's going to expose how, you know, RK is a liar manipulator, how he manipulates her, how he gets people to do all of these things. And she even exposes all of these text messages between the two. Honestly, I'm kind of over this whole story. I feel like if she was going to come out, she should have been came out. Instead of flip-flopping, saying this, then flip-flopping and saying that, I feel like from the beginning when she knew she was playing quote-unquote chess, girl, get on YouTube, make your bag. I ain't mad at you to make your money. And just lay it all out. Don't put out tidbits. Don't put out pieces. I, I never like when people do that. Like, if you're going to tell it, tell it. If you ain't, then don't, period. Um, that's just how I feel. So I feel like she should have done this a long time ago. So again, I'm not about to cover every video that she do. I'm honestly don't even think I'm about to. I don't even care about this story, though, no boy. Like, I'm over it. I'm drained. I don't care. But I just want to alert you guys and let y'all know that if you're interested, you'll be able to see it on her channel. You guys can see it over there. But again, like I said, she put out these text messages and she's going to be exposing all of these things. She exposed the text messages between um, her and RK and she exposed like who he's around, the women that she's been around. She like she does it like really quick. So I'm just going to put it on the screen. You can pause it, read it, pause it, read it. That'll be that on that. I feel like this should be with an actual therapist. Like being that there has been so much back and forth, flip flop, this, that, this, that. I feel like at this point, like I feel like it would be better if she sit down with a actual therapist and heal through it but hey if youtube is gonna help her heal through it if people being nosy speculating and you know just i feel like most of the people aren't even really concerned they just nosy they just want to know so i mean if if that makes her feel like it's gonna help then hey whatever makes her feel like it's going to help but this is a piece of what she put out i'm like i want you guys to Grab your popcorn, grab your tea, grab your wine, grab your daiquiri, grab your chips, grab whatever it is that you need to grab. By five years of being with him, I will talk about 
everything that has happened in those five years. I will talk about everybody, to manipulation, to our everyday routine, to our lives, to our houses, to the studio, to everything. I will tell you guys everything. I will tell you guys how he fought and how he maneuvered. I will tell you guys how he was manipulative and you guys will start to see it on your own as I tell the story. Okay, and here are the text messages. Like I said, pause and read them. Um, some of the stuff sounds like typical relationship stuff, and then some of the stuff, I really don't know. Um, even if you have a good relationship, everything is not going to be peachy clean. But, you know, this is her expression of what she went through and proving her point to the world to let everybody understand what most people already already know. Um, but, you know, like I said, pause it and read it right now. Okay, so that's that on that. One of the texts showed that they had freedom to drive without him. Clearly, this shows that they did have a phone. Um, but, you know, that doesn't mean that he was not manipulating him. I mean, manipulating them or whatever and saying stuff that made them feel better. Niggas who ain't even R. Kelly be lying just to lie. So when she say he used to lie, I mean, I'm sure he probably did. Niggas be lying. <laughs> and as far as the manipulation, she will go into depth about that. Um, another text message was one where I guess she was, I don't know, like, I guess he, he said that he would make another girl wear a big baggy T-shirt if that made her feel better. So I guess, you know, there was insecurities brewing obviously and I talked to you guys about that between the other girls and one feeling like they wanted to be the main and you know I don't know that's kind of what I gathered from one of the texts was that he wanted to make the other girl look bummy so she could feel better I don't really know but she'll explain it on her channel so everybody can go on over there her channel is scoop of Azri L and again I'm not about to I'm like I said I'm I'm drained <laughs> of it I'm trying to move I want to move on to other content um I want to start pumping out other stories and following other stories through like I followed this through and I'm, I'm at the end and I'm tired of it and now I need to start new stories and you know and follow them through so I understand that you know a lot of people want the updates and all this and a lot of people came on my channel for that I'm over it so I'm sorry um you know if people will jump ship it is what it is I'm tired so It'll be over there, and, you know, that's that on that. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll talk about it down below. All right, guys, peace. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Make sure you go to my website, neekatnight.com, and subscribe to my channel. And, um, yeah, so that's about that. All right, guys, peace, for real.